wewe Gloria ni nini tutaona kwa kia local do you think you should see right oh. way over the top <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness you are you, you're blushing i'm not blushing i'm shocked <laughs> may feel like you are hairy man yeah. there is a chance wow. eh, i can even forgive the stupidity <laughs> <laughs> there is a chance i need to be 35 at least for you yeah. talk to me about marriage yeah. i am young uh-huh. can we enjoy this love thing can we love each other until we tie each other out oh uh, yeah yeah I'm... yeah cuz <laughs> th- that's what i want for myself i don't want to think about marriage i don't want to think about that you know i have to be with you forever Mm-mm. no i might get tired we, i usually say that I'm going to be with Ken for as long as he makes me happy. Yeah. When happiness ends, I leave. <laughs> And that's it because I'm young, I'm not I have like I have a whole life ahead of me. Hello and welcome. My name is Kalondu Musimi. When you see me, it's an exclusive interview about to go down and I'm seated next to a psychologist and a mental health advocate. I'm talking about the one and only Gloria Kialo. Mambo my darling. Poor son. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Siko yango dia mambo. Mambo gani? Oh, mambo ile mambo. I thought it'd be like, "Hi, so I was ready with a hi." <laughs> was au kwa ujazoea kuambiwa mambo sasa ni yake poa oh my goodness kelo culture yeah. right yes. we we see a lot of things wa beti we have seen her business we've yeah. seen business of mercy yeah. wewe gloria ni nini tunaona kwa kelo culture So in Kel culture you're going to see a lot of things yeah. a lot of sides of me and I think people for one are going to understand who, who I am yeah. right so we're going to see a lot of advocacy mental health ad- advocacy and for me my role in the show is basically I am the balance so I'm balancing Mercy and Betty I'm the reconciliator I am the mediator <laughs> you know I'm basically the small sister that brings everything together yes. So part of that is just the whole big picture of me being the peacemaker and wanting people to be peaceful to be mentally okay you know to have peace of mind things like that so that's very important to me and that's how I brought it into the show yeah and why was it difficult to convince you to get into a reality show hey 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 where were if you are told kuja tuonyeshe maisha yako mambo nyeti utakuja kuja if there is money why not and i for me so so about the money um uh, maybe it's because i'm oh, i'm young so i don't money is not a very big factor so for me it was showing my life and then knowing that i'm going to have a, a future and a future whereby I might want it to be private. I might want to have clients and clients don't want someone who's public. Clients are like, eh, where where we save story on kwa TV. How? So that's why I was very reluctant until I was promised that nothing is going to go out there without me vouching for it and me saying that it's okay. That is all right. I even have a mentor who's who's closely looking at my work who's also a psychologist. She's like, usiseme hiyo utaribu karia itaisha so i think the fact that i have that person i can easily do the show yeah and and it eventually took a toll on you after you agreed to do the show well yeah it got to a point i said so you know when you are when cameras are on, are on your face if you too you say weird things yes. you can say anything and i feel like i went through that a lot and i kept telling them cut that's not me cut uh uh we see me me akitoa too and i kept begging them like don't put that out there because people are going to perceive me in some type of way and it's cause ni me panic kunaja ku panic ku panic ile they put cameras on your face you say some weird things people are like hey <laughs> you get so the fact that i was really any i panicked me being on the show most of one of the first days nilikuwa na panic ku panic yeah oh my goodness and one of the things that you've seen in the show is your relationship you and your boyfriend Ken who is actually here <laughs> what um, um what are, wh- why did you agree to you know agree to yeah, yeah. yes that one do you get what i'm saying why did you 
Wh why did you agree to put him in the show? So for me, first of all, I really thought about it. And even before I started, I sat, we started the show, I talked to him about it. I was like, Ken, would you be open? He's like, Z. I'm like, Ken, will you please, please, please? <laughs> but I got to a point, I told him, then he was like, Sawa, Basi, it's okay. So he's a very supportive guy and he loves me very, very much. He's done the most unthinkable things for me. So that's why I'm like, for him to even be, be part of the show and be on the trailer, I'm like, good job. I'm gonna pay you. <laughs> yes, honey. And Ken is around. Ken, Ken, please come. Ken is somewhere here. Uh, if, oh, Ken is here. Yeah, just come, just come. Please bring us seats. <laughs> Ken Karibu Sana, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm fantastic. Now, uh, Gloria tells me that it was hard to convince you Kuingia Kwa Show. Why was that? Well, um, I'm not used to the whole, you know, in front of the camera stuff. I'm more of a behind the scenes, just supporting you and doing all that. So it was kind of awkward. You know, just having to shoot and the first shot being our first day, okay, like one of our dates. Um, I was more like, why do I have people listening to her? I'm supposed to tell my girlfriend we're just the two of us. So, <laughs> it was awkward, but I'm getting to love it. And it's really amazing. And uh, hopefully you see me more. Shocked. Look at me being shocked. <laughs> You love it. Yeah, I love it. And hopefully you get to me in more of the shots. So happy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pay you. Oh. <laughs> She's gonna pay. How do you pay? Uh, for it's once, at least let her pay me. Yeah. Oh, in different ways. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll go. Um, <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, easy mambos, I love but see you and you, but what, 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 what are we gonna see you do in the show without giving too much? Um, you'll see me treat Gloria like a gem. How a woman is supposed to be treated. You've had them. You are am I, am a lady. Ah. Okay, fine. How a lady is supposed to be treated. You've had some. You've had Marcy say, "Why have a man? Why get a man that can't treat you right?" Right. Yeah. Well, now you'll get to see why. Do you think you treat me right? Oh, way over the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! You, oh, you, you're blasting. I'm not blushing, I'm shocked. <laughs> 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 you don't think he treats you well? I will say none. I, I don't answer that question, honestly. Uh, but he does a great job. A pretty yeah. decent job. Uh, <laughs> what, what is one thing you've ever done to Gloria that you'd say was over the top? Over the top? Mm, mm. I took her to... <laughs> Masai <Mara. laughs> <laughs> on Lake Nakuru Lodge and um, her sisters thought it was it was um, like unexpected because we were we were young as in you go to lodges and you find that mostly it's you know older couples and all that we but I'm a lodging lodge, lodging. Lodge, <laughs> lodges. and um, it was so awkward because the couples that we were meeting there they're all older and all that but we were the youngest people there and it was during Valentine's and um, we just had fun, all right? And uh, I think that is, she doesn't want to get a passport. I'd want to take her out of the country, but she doesn't. So that's one thing. <laughs> Honey, get a passport. Ni COVID certificate, see now. She doesn't want to get the, con the COVID whatever um, certificate, but I'm still trying to convince her. So we'll see how that works. Yeah. yeah. I hope it works well. And, um, uh, you know, we, we can't wait to see the two of you do magic for your show, right? But what makes you, what makes Ken the one? Guy! <laughs> on the spot <laughs> okay so um ken is really kind and i feel like in guys that's the first thing i go for i go for a guy who's kind 
a guy who is intelligent, me, I swear, like intelligence is a must. If we cannot have deep conversations about anything and everything, if we cannot talk deeper and just understand each other, far from what we are as people, I feel like we can't work. So he's very intelligent. He's very kind. I, I would say he's very humble. I um, Are you humble? Yeah, he's very humble. He's, he, he is very humble. And one thing about him is that he grounds me. Sometimes I'm here in the limelight. He tells me, bro. Actually, we call each other bro. It's so <laughs> weird. He tells me, bro, take a chill pill. Um, look look at the world again see this is reality don't act over the top i feel like he really grounds me and that's something that is amazing to have in a man yeah basically that oh and then i i really like how hairy he is just look at this face look at this face today or forever this he's been he's been like that since you met him i said i met him like this i was like oh my God. I like how he's hairy. You may feel like you're hairy, man. Yeah. There's a chance. Wow. Eh, I can't even forgive the stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> there is a chance. Oh my goodness. The last time we spoke, you had a promise ring. I don't know whether it was from Ken. I will, I will, I will ask her where it is. Where is it? So my hand got fat and it broke it. <laughs> so when my hand got fat, it broke it. We need to get another one, a bigger size than what we had last time. We need to get a bigger size than what we had last time. Gold, please. Gold. <laughs> when, when, when are you gonna do this? Um, we're waiting. We're waiting. I'm waiting for our third year anniversary, which should be in November. And um, I don't want to reveal this because it's a surprise. But anyway. <laughs> We will do something. Let's just let me just say we will do something great. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this time round, Gloria is gonna be a proposal and not a promise. Mr. Kikolewa, I. Simu, kwenye John Atrila. Ni me on a trailer, like ni Gloria. Una sema even in front of Ken Shuan. What's that? What's the your time? Say, Mia, likuwa nambia. Tell you. You know the fact that me and Ken call each other bros. We are honest with each other. We are very candid. Yeah. I would never lie to him and he'd never lie to me. So when I tell him I'm, I don't want to get married, it's me speaking from my heart. And when he tells me he wants to get married, we just have to talk about it. I mean, I, I, I think I, I told her we necessarily don't have to get married because in any case, with this younger generation that is coming up, marriage is more of um, come, let's just build something together, foundation together. That is marriage, from what I can see with this coming generation. And uh, with me and Gloria, I think I am more of a cultural man. I am those ratios, let's go all out, we do a big wedding, we invite Suju the Akinahu. That is me. But um, I think I can compromise if she doesn't want all that big thing. But um, yeah, I, 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 I think the reason as to why I can compromise is because I know we are going to have lovely babies. <laughs> He is 20-something. <laughs> 23. 23. As in, can we just enjoy young love? Yeah. There is Miss Ducky at You know, let me tell you. Marriage is like a 30-year-old no, yeah, thing. Yeah, I need to be 35 at least for you to yeah. talk to me about marriage. Yeah. I am young. Uh -huh. Can we enjoy these love things? Can we love each other until we tie each other out? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, because <laughs> that's what I want for myself. I don't want to think about marriage. I don't want to think about it. You know, I have to be with you forever. Mm -mm. No, I might get tired and you might get tired of me as I well. Know. Yeah, I know. right? You can get tired of yeah. me. So let's not go past at your marriage. Let's enjoy our lives. Let's be happy. I usually say that I'm going to be with Ken for as long as he makes me happy. Yeah. When happiness ends, I leave. <laughs> and that's it. Because I'm young. I'm not, I have, like I have a whole life ahead of me. So I'm not going to force when he stops loving me. <laughs> I will accept. Yeah. I'll be hot uh -huh. like hell, uh -huh. but I will move on, <laughs> and I and I'll always want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> when and you, what would what would you have to say about that statement? Well, it makes sense because there's no reason for you to be with someone who doesn't make you happy, yeah. and. Uh, you know, I am a very conservative guy, actually. And um, 
what I do, um, she compliments everything. And it just makes me very, very happy just being with her, spending time with her. And as you can see, she's very lovely. <laughs> so that's a plus. And I like it when we go out and all the guys are looking at her. I'm just like, yes, this is it. <laughs> like, this is it. And um, I, I can just say that she makes me happy. And if it comes to marriage, yeah, fine. That is, I mean, we're too young. I mean, like, we have like 10 years or something to go or, you know, to, to get there. And for now, we're just enjoying each other's company. Yeah. Yeah. I love that we're enjoying each other's company. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. I love that. Wow. Yeah. You guys, I love you too. Oh my goodness. You guys are my new uh, best couple. <laughs> Celebrity couple. Stop. Yes. Stop. Yes. Oh, my love. Stop. Yes. Please. Yes. Stop. Don't get ahead of yourself. Stop. <laughs> yes. And and please guys, uh Ken is on uh Kyalo Culture. Please watch the two. There's a lot. But Ken, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thank you so much for having me here. For having this wonderful lady here. And um hopefully there's more to come. Yeah. yeah. If, if you can just spec her as you go, because I have a lot to ask her. Uh, oh really? Really? <laughs> we don't think we don't we don't PDA we are like ah I say that peck surely glow. Peck is PDA. Ken, a peck. I say that peck oh yeah. You know what you know, you know what you know what they say? Uh -huh. No means no. <laughs> I was actually about to. to oh, yeah, like, my hand. My yeah, hand is yeah. like. Oh. <laughs> that is so amazing. Oh, my goodness. No, you're exaggerating, please. No, no, I am not exaggerating. And. <laughs> Let's continue. Who is your favorite sister? I don't have a favorite sister, honestly. I feel like that's such an unfair question. No. I, in the show, we could already see. I am not going to tell it, but I could already see who you are favoring. Um, I don't have a favorite sister, honestly. I feel like on different times, different occasions, I go to, to uh, yeah, you know, uh, I go to Marcy or I go to Betty. So I don't have a favorite, honestly. Got get to a point, I'm tired of all of them. I get angry at all of them. I don't talk to all of them. I block all of them. So, yeah, I... I mean, siblings, it can, it can be really bad. So I don't have a favorite sister, honestly, I, how can I? <laughs> you can, but so you've said you're the peacemaker and yeah. you, you know, the everything. So also, um, what is a selling point for uh, Kialo culture? Why should I watch Kialo culture? You should watch Kialo culture, first of all, because you're a young woman. You're a young woman with big dreams in this country. And for you to see something as big as we want Kialo culture to be, I want you to see it and be like, you know what? I'm not doing enough. We can do more. You know, you and your friends and everyone, everyone who's my age and watching Kialo culture, I want them to be like, I want to be a producer of a show like that. I want to be a director. I want to own a show like that. I want to buy a show like that. You know, I feel like Hello Culture is just here to show you guys that there's a different world out here. And we're really trying to create it. We're, we're starting small here, but we're really trying to create a big thing, a big idea. And through the help of every everyone, you yeah. and everyone who's actually even watching the show, we can make it even bigger and better and we can show Africa as a very rich and beautiful continent with amazing talent. Because the talent is great. You watch the show, you're like, a Kenyan created this and it's amazing. So I feel like it's just to inspire anyone out there who, who has big dreams, who feels like Kenya is not doing enough. You can see what Kenya is finally doing, you know. Yeah. You're a mom to a dog. Yeah. How do we call that? A mom to a dog? So I am a dog mom, proudly. So I have uh, three dogs, but the one that I live with uh, in my apartment, uh, apartment is Lulu. So Lulu is such a sweetheart. She sleeps all day. She's a bit old. She's six years old. I'm trying to get her pregnant, by the way. I hope you can see from the show. If she gets pregnant, I shall show you. <laughs> so 
um, yeah, I'm a dog mom, and it's. I honestly feel like I'm not gonna say um, it's a it's a bigger job. It's 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 as big as being a, re a mom to a real child. But honestly, I feel like it comes with a lot of responsibility. You need to dedicate a lot of time. You need to be very committed to you know that particular thing because you cannot just go out and say I'll sleep over our friends. You have a child waiting for you at home. It's not gonna you're not gonna breastfeed it, but you're gonna have to cook for it. Make sure it sleeps. It can be sick. You have to take it to the vet. Vets are expensive as hell. So I feel like it's a it's a big job. Do you wanna be a mom to a real child? <laughs> let me let me tell you. I am a natural. I love children. The idea of children, children in my arms, seeing children from afar, I love children. I've always said I want to get children by 25, but it's always going to depend with where I'm going to be at my uh, where I'm going to be at in my life, in my career, and also financially. I feel like finances when you have a child, are, you know, it's, it's important. So if by 25 I'm going to have I'm going to reach where I want to reach um, in terms of my finances. I'll definitely get a child. Yeah. And you know what, Gloria, I just want to wish you all the best. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You, you are sweet. You're such a darling. Gloria Santa. Oh, thank you so much for having me. You're so gorgeous. You're such a sweetheart. Come here. Oh, Santa Santa. All right. And thank you so much, guys, for watching that. It's Gloria Kialo. My name is Kalondi Musimi. Behind the camera is the one and only Saidi Abdallah. Bye. T tell them bye. Bye. <laughs>